Our next guest is a Tony Award-nominated actor you know from his work on Broadway and Death of a Salesman and shows such as The Wire, Tremaine, and Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. He's currently starring in Elsbeth, which airs Thursdays on CBS. Let's take a look. Ms. Tassioni, what are you doing here? Oh, you know, observing. Yeah? You can't be doing that. But the consent decree... You're supposed to observe high-profile investigations, not get into every little thing. Oh, I don't mind. My officers do. Focus on this woman's accident in her bathtub. It's not even a homicide, and it's eaten up my day. Actually, I'm not sure it was an accident. In fact... I don't want to hear it. And I don't want you hovering. Please welcome to the show, Wendell Pierce, everybody. <laughs> Show, Wendell. This man, has been too long in coming. I know. This is great, man. I, I watch your show almost every night. Well, I'm so thrilled you're here. You were in, you know, you've done a lot of great work over the years, but uh, The Wire, one yes. of the, my favorite of all time, endures. <laughs> here you are with the great Michael K. Williams. Rest in peace. Yes, indeed. This great actor. Show, we, you know, we're just talking to uh, Tim Robinson about the Emmys he's won. You know, I've lost a lot of Emmys, and every time I lose an Emmy, <laughs> you know what I think? The Wire. The Wire never won one. We not only never won one, we were never nominated. Yes, it's shocking. Yeah, that's right? That's it. Now, but to have the appreciation of the audience is the thing. <laughs> yeah. That's the true reward. <laughs> and, you know, it's certainly, you know, the other great thing about it is uh, it holds up so well. It really yeah. endures. Have you gone back? I mean, it's 20 years now, which is crazy to me, but have you gone back and watched it? Yeah, uh, I go back and watch it all the time. Um, it's one of those things, it was like a canary in the mine. It showed us the dysfunctions in, yep. in American society and uh, cities that, you know, if we don't take heed, then, you know, we could lose it all. And, and it we was, still haven't learned that lesson. I, we certainly haven't learned that lesson, but it was also, you know, it was all those things, you know, it had all this, you know, important nutritional content, and yet it was so much fun to watch. Oh, it yeah. was so exciting, great, and, and just such so well acted. Uh, we, had, we had a great time, too, because we were always shooting it when we weren't on air. So we were always like a boys' trip in Baltimore, you know? <laughs> so I, I had a really good time. <laughs> That's great. You know? And shout out to the people in Baltimore. God bless them, that accident, that tragedy that just recently happened. It was nice You're to not shout prayers. them out. It was nice to shout them out. You're lucky enough to be shooting in New York City. So, yes. Alice Beth, uh, this is a character uh, from The Good Fight, uh, from The Good Wife. Okay. And uh, is this a fun project to be involved with? Is it great to be working in New York City? It's fantastic. New York is like a character, you know? Yeah. New York is a character in the play. I hope that someday they're going to have a bus ride around town like the Ellsbeth tour. Yeah. You know? Just this is where around. this guy got killed. This is where <laughs> this guy... You know, um, it, it's a great show, and so we, uh, we maximize being in New York, you know? And, uh, you know, Carrie... It's just fantastic. She's Harry a fantastic, Preston. fantastic, fantastic actor. actress. Over the years, we looked. You've played a law enforcement uh, 18 times in your career. Wow. A lot of police officers, a lot of judges, a lot of yeah. district attorneys. I've played a cop more than I've met cops in real life. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you. We thought uh, it might be fun. I'm going to. I'm going to name the characters. You tell me. Uh, see okay. if you can remember the show. FBI consultant William Bradford. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's not. It's well, not, wait, this oh, isn't no, yes no. or no, Wendell. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was, he was, his name was Bradford and he worked for the FBI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, you and, have um, like a photographic memory. I, 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 I can learn my lines, but I do not know my characters. <laughs> I, I really don't know. What's That's a, numbers. Oh, yeah. He was a psychiatrist. Oh, well. Oh, you got to say that. <laughs> Uh, what about uh, Agent Dick Gill? Oh, yes. Hackers. There you go. You got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Agent Dick. Yeah. I think they, I think they use their last name. I don't think they use their... If your name's no. Agent Dick Gill, do they... they... No, they... In the film, it was, a, <laughs> it was a running joke. Oh, gotcha. That the hackers all got on television and said, to you, Agent Dick. Oh, gotcha. You know, that all was right. my name. There it's, you go. Uh, Candy, uh, Conrad Candyman Jones. Oh, yes. That was here at this wonderful network of NBC. That was, I would play the Candyman in, um... Buying a lot of time here. Yes, this is what yeah. we call, this is what great actors call stalling. Yes. <laughs> or a dramatic pause. <laughs> because that was... Uh, what was it? It wasn't the first or the second. It, it was, was third watch. Third watch. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was good. 
<laughs> this is a, a very exciting uh, piece of casting. I am a, a big superhero fan. I'm a big uh, comic book fan. You are going to be playing Perry White in the oh. new uh, Superman film. Yeah. yeah. Uh, James Gunn. The great James Gunn. The great James Gunn is directing that film. That's what I hear. You may know more about it than I do. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, sorry. This is, I mean, I know more about your past roles. <laughs> <laughs> You I know more about your future. My future roles. But you, uh, for... but you know, I, I um, like I said, I, I can remember my lines, but not my characters. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to this. I mean, yeah. I, I never grew up reading comics. Uh, um, so I relied on my friends to tell me about it, you know? Yeah. As you can see, I have a problem with memory. Um, <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm excited about this, you know? But like I said, you may know more about it than I do right now. We uh, uh, met each other about a year ago, and... Uh, I remember one of the things I was talking about, speaking about memory, uh, you were working on Death of a Salesman. You're so fantastic yes. in it. And you had a book, uh, which these were just sort of the notes. Oh, yeah. And, and I would imagine on, on a lot of your projects, you do this, especially your stage work. Just yeah. sort of extensive workbook, would you call it? Extensive um, journal. A journal, journal uh, as the character. And uh, I did Death of a Salesman. To play Willie Loman is one of the great roles in the American canon of theater. And um, it is... Uh, I'm a, a part of a small fraternity of men who have played it on Broadway. You know, Lee J. Cobbs, Philip Seymour Hoffman, you know, Dustin Hoffman, yeah. and, and Wendell Pierce, and I wanted to record that time. And I went out shopping, and I lost the journal. And I freaked out, and I went on social media, and people were so mean. They said, <laughs> it was like, you stupid idiot, <laughs> you know? Um, but I retraced my steps, and I found it in the bathroom of Bergdorf Goodman, <laughs> where I was shopping. Yeah. I mean, it must have been, I was, I will say, uh, I, it was one of those, like, the weirdest, there's no happy endings on social media. Yeah. And I read, you know, I saw you tweet, like, that you lost it. I was yeah, like, I oh, lost son it. of a guy. I, I tweeted, I found it. Yeah. And then, you know, man, everyone just really congratulated me for being able to surpass my stupidity <laughs> and, and find the book. But it was a joyous thing because that was one of the highlights of my career in my life, to play Willie Loman on Broadway at Death of a Salesman. Well, it has been a real <laughs> highlight for me to have you here. What a delight. Thank you. Thank you Good so much, you. Wendell. Wendell Pierce, everybody. Elsbeth returns with back-to-back -back new episodes this Thursday at 9 p.m. Then returns to <clears throat> regular time slot on Thursday nights at 10 p.m. on CBS. Stick around. We'll be right back with Lindsay Mendez.